Uh, times are tough. Business is really slow. The economy has been severely affected by the lockdown. But Alhamdulillah, at least I have a job. Hey yeah, man, it's been very tough times. I lost my job. Oh, subhanAllah. Yeah, I had 20,000, which I wanted to do business with. Also, I had a plan to open a Duryan business, but I had to pay it to the university. SubhanAllah, I don't know what to do, man. But I don't have money, man. What's the capital for the Duryan business? It's 20K, brother. I have 40,000 savings. Perhaps I can lend him 20,000 to help him get back on his feet. Brother, I'll lend you 20,000, inshallah. Really? Yes, inshallah. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Allah, thank you, brother. Assalamualaikum, brother. Amir. Looking sharp, my man. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Come in, come in. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, looking good, brother. How's business? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And that's why I'm here. The business is growing. And Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It's very successful. Oh, Alhamdulillah. I came here to bring back your 20K. Oh. On top of that, brother, I'm sharing with you 20% of the business. Oh, MashaAllah. Yeah. At that time, you helped me. I'm being very grateful. Jazakallah khair, brother. Yes, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely tests those of his servants whom he loves. He may put a person through hardships and trials, but that is only to see how grateful they are. In Surah Al-Insan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily, we have showed him the path, meaning the human being, and he is either grateful or ungrateful. To who? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the ways that our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam showed his gratitude to Allah was by doing sujood as shukr a single prostration, which we don't even need will do to perform, just a heart full of appreciation. So let us follow the sunnah of Rasulullah. Let us perform sujood al-shukr more often, whenever some sort of good enters our lives, or whenever Allah protects us from some sort of evil.